All right, hello friends. You join me outside of Chemist Warehouse in Sydney, Australia on Pitt Street. I'm going to try to be very discreet in here because they seem to follow me around and I don't know if they're gonna allow me to film, so we'll see if I get kicked out. But I want to compare drugstore beauty products in the US to products in Australia. So they don't call them drugstores, they call them chemists. So let's go inside. I might have to put on my headset and whisper because it's just insane in here. Oh my gosh. Is this just fragrance? Let's see what's going on. Let's check it out, friends. Okay, so first up we have perfume. Calvin Klein Sheer Beauty, $40. But you have to remember the exchange rate. So I think this is like probably like $27, $28. I don't know if that's good. Oh, Donna Karen. I've been wearing this, like this perfume was out 10, 20, 15 years ago, $50. Is that a good deal? I don't know. I feel like you can get it cheaper. Let's see. Wow, this store sells everything. You guys know this is the night cream. I always tell you about. Is this the night cream? This is in the US. I think it's $90. Here it's $109. So I think that would be like $70. Bucks? I don't know. The exchange rate confuses me a little bit. Ooh, I've never seen the. This is a Clarence cleansing milk for 38. This store is amazing. It's like a little Sephora. It has like Olay, Clarence. This brand I've never heard of. Lucent? A Lucent? Oh, I stumbled on a little gem here. Elizabeth Arden. $26.99 for the. Looks like a day cream. You guys, and these shelves go really high up. I see why this place is so packed right now. It has everything. I'm about to lose my mind in here. We even have some insect repellent. Roll-on insect repellent for $6.99, which is like $4.50 or something. This is so interesting. It's like the insect repellent is right across from the Clarins cream. That's funny. <laughs> oh, Dr. Lewins. I've never heard of this brand before. $48.99. I have to look this stuff up. I want to buy stuff that's not available in the States. Uh -huh. I've never heard of that brand. Let's keep looking. Now, this is something I am familiar with the price. This is the L'Oreal. My mom and I used to love this moisturizer. $23.99. Um, I think with the exchange rate, that's the same price as in the States, actually. I'm pretty sure, because I think that comes to like 17 bucks or something, but hmm, interesting. We have Neutrogena here. I think this is a good deal. $14. Because I think US, that's like... You know, you get the point. <laughs> I'm not going to try to keep converting because I'm going to mess it up. Alright, here's another band I've never heard of. Trilogy? So we have... Oh, I picked up some razors. We have some rose hip oil for... 25 Okay. Uh, I can't get this back in. Gel cleanser, $26.99. Another brand I've never heard of. I don't even know how to pronounce that. That's $36. Bucks. Sally Henson nail polishes. What? Why are these so expensive? $13. So that comes to like what? $12? I don't know. $9? Bucks? That seems a little pricey. Oh, but it's 40% off some of them. Hmm. Interesting. We have Nude by Nature, you guys. I filmed a video at Target. If you haven't seen it, Target in uh, Melbourne. I was shocked by their drugstore foundation prices. Look at this L'Oreal foundation. It's $25. I don't understand. I guess because they have to ship it in. Like some of the drugstore prices, this lipstick is $19.99. Insane. Insane. This Rimmel... These are okay. These are all mascaras are $9.39, which with the exchange rate, I think that comes to like seven or six bucks. That makes sense. But the foundation prices, I just like was in shock. Oh, these aren't bad. 15 bucks. That's not bad. It's better than what I saw at Target in Melbourne. They have this brand. It's called Very Vegan, I think. And I've never seen this brand in the States. Maybe this is something new I can try. So I'm guessing the whole line is vegan. I'm assuming. Like they have eyeshadows, 
concealers here. Sorry if I get too close to the products, but people are literally bumping me. Um, these foundations, which would never work for my skin tone. <laughs> More foundations. Interesting. Maybe I'll try this brand out because I've never seen it before in the States. And it's pretty affordable. Like $4.99 for that is like... $2.99 or $3. Hello friends, present J Nikki here. I'm officially back from Australia and I don't know if I told you in the intro, but I vlogged every single day in Australia. So if you want to see really fun vlogs, we did so much stuff. We climbed the Sydney Bridge. Um, we did a lot of touristy stuff. We did like the hop on, hop off bus. We went to the opera house. We took the Great Ocean Road, which is like three hours, I think south of Melbourne. And we saw the 12, we did a lot of stuff. So if you want to see that, I will leave a link down below to my second channel. Go and subscribe, check it out. I'm going to be posting a lot of fun stuff there. So I think I have seven days worth of vlogs and I'm just going to try to upload them maybe like two a week until I get through them. I filmed a lot of videos in Australia. It feels really weird filming right now because all the videos you've seen on my channel for like the last two weeks were all pre-filmed and I haven't filmed in like two weeks, so it's just nice to be back in the flow of things. I also filmed a Target video while I was there. Um, I filmed like a McDonald's video where I'm gonna taste test Australian McDonald's with American McDonald's. I filmed a lot there, so lots of content coming up from Australia, but subscribe to the second channel. I'll leave a link down below if you wanna see the vlogs and the challenges. Like I'm gonna put like the food stuff, the McDonald's, the vlogs, all in that channel. So let's do some product reviews. First up from, oh, by the way, I should mention, I did buy a lot of makeup there, like a lot. I have bags of it in front of me. I think I'm just gonna do that as a separate haul video because this video is going to be too long so the Australian makeup haul I tried to buy only the brands that I could find in Australia because what's the point in buying like stuff that I could find here so that video will probably be coming up next or soon so product review so these products were all sent to me in PR I like to share these things with you if I've tried them if I haven't tried them if I'm excited to try them if I like them if I don't like them but I always like to tell you guys when things are sent to me for free, I feel like I'm talking really fast. Slow down, Nikki. I'm so excited to be filming again. Um, but this isn't sponsored. I can tell you whether I like them, don't like them, etc. So first up from Flower Beauty. Flower Beauty was nice enough. Oh, this bag is... If, you, if it looks like I have a fan on me, I do. It's currently like 80 degrees outside. What's new? Um, and there's a motorcycle going by. Rush hour. I try not to film during rush hour because it's really loud. So Flower Beauty sent me, I have three of their scents, but they sent me this newest one. Well, it's new to me. This one is from, It's I think it's a line. It's called Pretty Deadly. And this is the Narcissus Fatal. So I already have Lethal Oleander and Jasmine Venom. I love both of them. And I love that this is affordable. And it's very long wearing. So the Jasmine Venom kind of just smells very light light and not fruity but kind of like a light vanilla musk scent and then the lethal oleander is like a perfect try not to spray myself in the eye a perfect fall winter scent it's a little more deep i hope i'm describing these it's also kind of like a musky vanilla scent but it just smells a little bit more deep to me i don't know how else to describe it deep or do you say thick <laughs> that's what she said this all sounds very sexual I'm sorry. <laughs> Did you hear my boyfriend? He said, I'm talking like a nerd, but it does. Potty mind. Ooh, look at the color of this. That is so pretty. So I told you this one is Narcissus Fatal. Let's smell it. Ooh, this is a lighter scent. Oh God, don't spray myself in the eye. Why are you watching me film? Ooh, this one is sweet. I see why it's in a red bottle. It kind of smells like candy. I kind of sprayed my elbow. It smells like sweet candy. I love sweet scents. So if you don't like sweet scents, I would say try out Lethal Oleander. But if you like sweet, you would like Narcissus Fatal or Jasmine Venom. But Narcissus Fatal literally smells like a liquid, sweet, warm candy something. It smells so good. Yes. My mom, my mom watches all these videos. And I think in the first one, when I was uh, reviewing Lethal Oleander, I was like, I think I'll pass it on to my mom. She's like, can I have that perfume? 
Like you did see that part, didn't you? Even if it's at the end of the video, my mom knows she watches it. And if she hears me say my mom, she perks up even more. So I'll probably pass one of those on to her because I don't know, I really like the way they all smell. Um, next up, Real Techniques sent me this expert face brush, but it's funny, I've owned this brush for like four years five years i don't know a long time you guys know i love real techniques i think about a year ago i did a full review video on their powder blue brushes i love those brushes i'm still using them and that was a year ago i'll leave a link to that video down below but um i love this brush i use it for liquid foundation and i buff it into my skin I love it. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to use it for, but that's what I use it for. I think you're supposed to use it for foundation. Just Real Techniques is just a really solid, good quality makeup brush brand. They're one of my favorites. Not even just drugstore, just period. And then from Inglot, I've never tried anything from Inglot. They were nice enough to send me their Jennifer, Jennifer Lopez um, like collaboration. So we have the Viva La... <laughs> Why did I say it like that? Viva La... Babe! Viva Las Lashes Mascara and um, their eyeliner. I have this eyeliner on now, friends. This eyeliner is so black and so creamy. I really like it a lot. Um, I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial. You guys have been asking me to film like makeup reviews on products I've bought from like Marshalls, TJ Maxx, and Nordstrom Max. I'm going to be doing that, but I don't have an eyeliner, so I'll probably, be, probably apply this in that video but I have it on now and I really like it mostly I love how black it is and this is the shade J511 midnight and then the mascara let me show you the wand oh this you know this wand reminds me of the L'Oreal telescopic wand it's very long very skinny I love wands like this to really get deep in there and elongate my lashes because I have really short lashes so I will keep you posted on these but first impressions I've been enjoying those um, oh, Profusion Cosmetics was nice enough to send me some goodies. And I have been eyeing this palette. So this is the Pro Pigment 21 Pro Shades and Dual Ended Brush Palette. I had never heard of Pro Profusion until recently. You can pick them up at Target or online. Look at this palette. I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you see the purple shade in here? The pinks, the purples. There's like a bright, my camera's kind of washing it out. This bright neon pink, we all know I love color, so I'm so excited to give that a try. And then we have their Lips To Go Matte Lip Cream, and this is in the shade Dream. And what I love, Pro Fusion is very affordable, by the way. So if any of you have tried it, let us know what you think. Um, so you get a matte lip cream, a lip liner, and a sparkling lip topper. I have another one of their lip toppers that came in one of their kits that I really like. So I could create a whole look with that. And then they have this little box, which is Beauty Superstars, 23-piece complete beauty collection. If I'll be honest, every beauty box I've ever tried, I usually don't like. So I'm really curious to give this a try. Let me know if you want to see a review video. But again, look at these colors. Can you see that? It's like a very sparkly teal, a beautiful purple color. And my lights are kind of washing it out. They look very pretty. Oh wow, I didn't even realize it has a makeup brush in here, a lip gloss, an eyeliner, eyeshadows. I think these are blushes. You get a lot of stuff in here. So I'm excited to try that out. So that is it for me. Make sure you subscribe here if you want to see more of the Australia videos. Check out the second channel. It's just more Nikki Beauty Bliss. I'll leave a link to it down below. Subscribe for the vlogs and all that fun stuff that's coming up. And that's it for me, friends. I'm so excited to be filming again. Don't forget to check out the videos on the screen. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you soon.